What is going on everybody? We're in the backyard because it's blowing. My daughter said she wanted to catch some fish for dinner, so she cut up some hot dogs. Oh, we got a bleeder, huh? Look at these bluegills. Nice size bluegills. We've not eaten anything out of this canal yet, but it's a little dirty. This doesn't get a lot of movement uh, and you get a lot of leaves. Like right now it's the oak trees and everything are dropping their leaves. So it stains the water brown. But uh, uh, show me what we're, we got going on here. So a little split shot. So I could get it from the other side. Oh, so you can cast it. Little teeny hook. And what are we using for bait, young lady? Hot dog. Hot dog? I just bought those. Shh. Shh. What's up, Big Ben? Nothing. I gotta go get the cooler and put some ice in it. Your sister's tearing them up. There's some massive tilapia in here. And uh, I would like Brandon to take his throw net and catch some we want to we want to eat them because they're invasive you can do that but that's the thing guys i'll research it to be sure we you never want to just assume that it's legal to do certain things until you check your rules do you have a bite ah uh, fooled him once you think you can fool him again Yesterday we had three green iguanas or four green iguanas down here. They were probably like little two footers. All siblings, I think. From the same clutch. I need to go get a BB gun. We got iguanas back here. Gray iguanas down there a little further and green iguanas. Then he jumps in the water. Well, there goes dinner. These little fish right here, Corey, what are they? They're aquarium fish. Oh, you got one, Al? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. oh, flip him up. Look at that. Look at him. There's Corey. Say hi to everybody, hey Corey. He's back. Back in Florida, hanging out with us. That's oh, we're eating that, buddy. Yes, we are. Uh huh. Good job, Ellie. So. What are those little fish? Catch one for Corey. They're everywhere. These are the, we used to have these when we were little kids in our aquariums. There's a lot of grass shrimp in this too. Yeah. And this is completely fresh water. Hey, right here, honey, there's some minnows. I'm kind of cutting into this video because I wanted to show you guys these guppies we used to have these when i was a little kid and there is a ton of them in here and there's some really colorful ones too and we're gonna put them in a fish tank here a little fish bowl and we're gonna start working on restoring this bank here a little bit it was overgrown when we bought it we started hacking away let's try to make this a little more user friendly i've got some ideas but we shall see What's up, buddy? Are you leaving a time bomb? Great. I'm barefoot, too. There's the black one I want. Right there. Oh, boy. They are some kind of quick. Right there. I don't think I got the one I wanted. What do you see, buddy? Hmm? You got some too? 
I think the more colorful ones like we're looking for probably don't live as long because they get eaten because they stand out like a sore thumb. Well, I didn't get the ones I was looking for, but it'll be fun to watch these guys have babies and stuff. They are prolific breeders. Very invasive. See what she caught? We're gonna pack them in ice. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? It's a cabell. No doubt. She's my little provider. Look at this guy, man. Oh, Ellie's on again. Here, I'll get those in a second, babe. What is it? A cichlid, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, we. That is. That's a cichlid. That's cool. There's a bunch of these, aren't these? Do these mm -hmm. the ones that I see swimming around? And they have the little babies swim in and out of their mouth and that's how they like protect them like you'll be see them swim by and then all of a sudden they'll just go like open their mouth and a whole bunch of babies will swim out is that right or not i i don't know much about these invasives here yes. that is cool well blue gabe eats them we're gonna try it look at they get the black nice. spot on their tail ellie like a like a redfish mm -hmm. isn't that wild good job here go throw them on ice I think T is only out here because the hot dogs. If you guys are new to our channel, this is my oldest son, Corey. He lives in Ohio and he's down here visiting. He hears the fish jumping around in the box and barking at them. Oh, your line's going, buddy. See if you got one. Ooh. Oh, good bluegill, Corey. Yes. Thank you, Bill. Well, that'll work. All right. All right, Ellie said she wants to fillet the cichlid. We've never filleted one of those, so I'm sure the anatomy is pretty similar. So the rib cage is going to be right in here somewhere, but let's see what happens. Just some nice ones, man. Well, Mom's going to do it, too. Lots of colors, huh? Nice. There you go. Yep. Boy, those are looking good too. Let's see what you got. All right. Good job, Mom. Good job, Elle. So. There's your Mayan cichlid, a little bloody, probably be a little cleaner if I rinsed it. There's your bluegill. Get that knife moving, there you go, one long stroke, perfect. Look at that. I'm anxious to try that. Look at you girls go, I just get some ice water. Now typically guys, we don't like to put our fillets in water. We might rinse them real quick before we cook them, but especially the saltwater fish, but freshwater fish is kind of a different story to me. So we'll just throw these in ice water. That'll help firm up the fillets. A lot of people up north, they don't like to eat uh, crappie in the summertime. They say that they're too soft. So they like to catch them through the ice, which is great. But we catch them late spring when the water temperatures are warmer and uh, we literally throw them into ice water and that helps tighten those fillets up and make them more firm but what do you think is going to work better for crabbing freshwater fish or saltwater fish we got to get back get our stone crab traps back out there it's been super rough and we haven't had a lot of bait so i've been kind of collecting it and We'll go fill up the traps this week and get them back out there. All right, well, I'm going to go inside and start working on getting some other things ready if you girls want to finish these up. <laughs> there might not be a whole lot of meat, he says. You're doing fine. Let's just throw a couple of eggs in here. I've got some panko breadcrumbs. That's what we're going to use. These things are awesome. 
deer meat for dinner turned me on to panko's. A little more crunch to them. And I'm just gonna use some olive oil today. It's what I got. All right, that oil should be ready to go. I don't know where my girls went. You already filleted all the fish, and now you're back out here fishing again. You catch any? Log. She caught a log. Oh, we'll fillet that. All right, well, I guess uh, if you need me, I'll be in the house cooking. If you catch any big ones, fillet table and everything's right there. I brought the knives in the house, but... All right, let's go cook these suckers. Here's all of our fillets. Pretty simple process. Dunk. Shake off the excess. Braid those bad boys up. That's a good one. Keeping them? Yeah. All right. Well, the flying knife is right here. Get back to work, kid. <laughs> All right, that's enough for now. I want to get out there and catch some more fish. Do the wooden handle trick here, guys. If it bubbles, it's hot enough. There we go. Straight into the oil. Oh, that's the sound I like. Now, I'm not seasoning these right now. I'll season them once they come out. She got another one, didn't she? That was a nice one. I was walking away, and so nothing's biting. She's like, oh yeah? Oh and she reels one off. <laughs> Golden brown. Oh yeah. Probably turn the heat up a little bit more. For the dry off. Just a little bit of lollies on them bad boys. Uh, we have a slight problem. What? I caught a turtle. That is a problem. Alright. You ready, Ben? You want to try this? Let's do it. Alright. Very good. This was the, um, Mayan cichlid. Look at that. All right, I gotta go save a turtle's life. <laughs> Come on. He's hooked good. We can get it out. Go. Soft shell. Go. All right, this is gonna be tricky. I don't want to get bit, but I don't want him to snap the line either. Okay. Go. Go. You know, you'd make good soup. But I got too many other things going on right now. Plus, you're a little small. There's some out here, guys, that I've seen that are the size of spare tires. These soft-shelled. They're pretty crazy. I mean, it, it, it's soft to the touch, but you can feel there's, you know, there's a shell there. But look at the back. This guy's been damaged before, you see? But look at it, it's like rubber. All right, baby girl, good job. Pull them right out of the sheath for me. There you go, buddy. No harm, no foul. Now, anytime you're handling one of these guys, you've gotta be careful because these, all turtles for the most part, have a super long head, that neck, I mean. So he could probably come out potentially that far. I was trying to rescue one once soft shell and he was probably that big around and I was carrying him. The reason I was rescuing him, he was trying to cross a cow pasture and he was hundreds of yards away from the water and the crows were literally coming down, ravens, whatever they were, and they were ripping his shell. So I grabbed him and I saw where he was headed and I walked him over to the water and like a ding dong, I went like this and I looked at him and he came up and literally snapped the tip of my nose, I felt it hit my nose and thankfully didn't get it because that beak right there is no joke. That thing will tear flesh.
He likes hot dogs though, just like you, El. Okay, oh gotta do the taste test. I gotta wash my hands. Try some of this, Ben. Oh man, nice crunch, very good, yeah. It's been a while since we had fresh fish, fresh yep. water fish. Yep, we weren't kidding. We lost Corey, he went on a bird watching adventure. You must have saw something fly by and he's probably chasing it down. Oh man. Mom and Ellie better hurry up. You want some tea? Yes, that's right, I'm feeding him human food. I'm, I'm weak, what can I say? He helped. You better hurry up. I told Corey he better run. I called him like, where'd you go? He said, I'm finding some birds. And I'm like, well, you better run because we're uh, about done with it. Remind you of uh, your childhood? Oh my word. Thanks, Deer Meat, for dinner. He's the one who turned us on to the panko breadcrumbs. They do, that's kind of a game changer. All right, well, I gotta go cook for another video. So, yeah, anyways, that's that. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Thanks for, uh, for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And uh, I guess we're going to see you in the next one because we are out of here.